Hey everyone, and welcome to Machine Learning, Modern Computer Vision and Generative AI. This is a course I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but the technology simply did not exist to do it. Today it does, and this technology is called CV. So thank you for joining me today. Now let's dive into what this course is all about. Firstly, what is CV, and why is it so amazing? CV is a new library backed by Google, and it represents a new direction for the Keras library. Originally, Keras was created as a higher level abstraction over more difficult to learn deep learning frameworks, such as Theano and TensorFlow. Later, with the release of TensorFlow version 2, Keras became part of TensorFlow, rather than just a standalone library. Now Keras is going back to its roots, once again becoming a standalone library that can support multiple backends. Today, the most popular deep learning frameworks, including TensorFlow, JAX, and PyTorch, are all supported. This is a great step forward, as it means writing deep learning code is going to be a lot easier, regardless of what framework you choose to use under the hood. Keras CV is a computer vision specific library built on top of Keras that also supports the same backends. Basically, it makes doing many common computer vision tasks simple and seamless allowing you and your team to hit the ground running and complete projects faster. From image plotting utilities, to loading up pre-trained models in one line of code, to fine-tuning object detection models in just a few lines of code, Keras CV makes computer vision so much more convenient. It even comes with functionality to let you use and fine-tune the latest generative AI models like Stable Diffusion. Another great thing about this course is that it's completely practical. There is essentially no theory in this course, unless it's marked as an optional lecture, or if I need to briefly explain a concept so that you understand a little bit about what the code is doing. But the nice thing about using a high-level library, like Keras CV, is that there is no need for any pesky calculus, linear algebra, or probability. I know that many of my previous students have been looking for a course like this for a very long time, since they work in the industry, and need plug-and-play solutions, without needing to put effort into the academic side of things. So if you're coming from industry, or you just need to get things done quickly, this course is for you. So what will you learn in this course? This course is broken down into three main sections. The first section will look at image classification, which conceptually will be a review for most of you. However, even if you already know about image classification, this section is still important for all students to go through since it'll teach you how to use the Keras CV library, which is different from regular Keras. In this section, we will look at both how to use a pre-trained model and how to fine tune a model on your own image dataset. The second section will look at object detection. Object detection used to drive me nuts because there were no good libraries that would let you do fine tuning and be maintained over many years. In my previous computer vision course, the libraries for object detection were always met with breaking changes in either TensorFlow or Keras, and they would never be updated to keep working. Since Keras CV is an official project from the Keras team, I expect that support for this library will be much better. Like the image classification section, the object detection section will look at both how to use a pre-trained model and how to fine tune a model on your own dataset. For object detection, this is much more involved. This section is the meat of this course, and most of the technical content will be found here. Finally, the third section of this course will look at Stable Diffusion, one of the most popular models for generative AI art. Instead of using confusing web interfaces that sometimes don't work, Keras CV allows you to control Stable Diffusion in code, which for programmers like you and me, makes things much simpler and easier to understand. <laughs> 